We know what this could mean for many South Africans. It can ease their um, um, financial burden, especially um, for those who have been living on the urge, um, struggling really to pay their debts. We know that this will be the first cut since the Reserve Bank increased the rates um, in November 2021. So I'm in the streets of Rosebank to speak to a few people, people who will really benefit um, from this announcement. People will just give us their views on how they've been, you know, living in these tough economic times and what this cut will really mean um, for them. So I'm just going to move to and speak to um, this uh, beautiful Hi. lady here. Hi. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Good afternoon. Thank you so much for agreeing to speak to us. Sure. Yes, um, we know that we're living in tough economic times in South yes, Africa. The true. cost of living is very high. How have you been coping? Um, it's been a struggle. It's been horrible paying for food. I think the food, food has gone is outrageously expensive and I think that a, an interest rate cut will really benefit the whole country, especially um, people who are in debt. And um, I think it's going to be a, a very positive thing for everyone in South Africa. Yes, um, obviously um, a cut in interest rates will mean that uh, there will be reduced monthly um, car installments and even, and even bonds. Yes. So what's, what's your take on that? I think, I think everyone's going to be happy. I think I really do think that. I mean, I, don't, I know um, people, a lot of people um, don't have um, car payments and things like that. And I worry more about people like that who don't have, you know, stuff like that with the debt with the banks. Um, how they're coping with buying food every day because I've seen the shops are empty and I was in the shops yesterday and I couldn't believe there was no one in the shop and it well not the shop but another shop and it was very sad actually so let's hope it's going to be joyful news for everyone and and make a country uplift the country again okay and then for you um, I just want to um, sorry just ask you talk to you uh, personally is there anything that you you're paying for or are you going to personally benefit from this announcement um i have a small debt so it, it's it won't really impact me but it's i'm only one small debt and i'm, I'm at that age and all that <laughs> so um yeah but it will it you know it, it will benefit me yes okay all right thank you, thank you so much i really appreciate thank your you. time okay Hello, hello, good afternoon. Thank you so much for agreeing to talk to us and for waiting as well. So tell me, the Reserve Bank governor um, might announce a cut in interest rate this afternoon. How is that going to benefit you? As a youngster, it's an excitement because right now I'm only paying for my car and of course I'm planning to have a property of my own so that means at least I can be able to afford my lifestyle and also afford property so honestly it's a yay moment for us youngsters yeah <laughs> that's actually true that's actually true <laughs> so tell me you say you are currently paying for um, for your vehicle um, um, s since um, maybe for the past um, three years has your car monthly installments have they gone up Honestly speaking, of course, when you're going to start investing in such, you know, you, you, you prepare a certain amount aside, you know, it's always good to budget. So for me, of course, I've prepared a certain amount. I don't exactly chase much, but what I know is that at least for my future debt or future investments, now I know I'll, this money I'll be saving up and this money I can also have for more entertainment. <laughs> That's actually wonderful. So I just want to know, so obviously you're saying as a young star, you're looking forward to, to this announcement. Have you ever maybe tried to, to apply for, for, for a bond, um, a house loan? Not yet. Yeah, it's, I've just been browsing around Property24 for now. But also you do see uh, how much are you expected to pay monthly. So I'm guessing that for all the luxury pieces that we want, we yearn for, we are able to afford better now. And yeah, there's not much I can say, but I just know that at least our budgeting lifestyle is going to be better and we're going to be able to afford a lot of things than before. Okay, with things uh, being very expensive now, how have you been coping financially? You have to budget. 
<laughs> the truth is you have to budget and I'm um, a lover of things and sometimes and I also have a business so there's also one thing that has been have been coping with I work I have a nine to five and I also have a uh, side hustle on the side so that's how I have been coping so I'm hoping that maybe I won't have to work too much on my side hustle and depend on my 9 to 5. Oh wow that's wonderful so as a young person what can you you advise other young people to ease the financial burden like you just mentioned that you have you have a business so what can you advise other young people? Honestly speaking you should always have something you're doing on the side you know and one thing about something you're doing on the side is usually your passion because nine to five is there to pay the bills and then we have your passion to help you survive and cope you know because most of depression I believe that we have is mostly caused by not handling your finances so it is important to be able to handle your finances of course when I say handling your finances to be able to acquire or make enough money for you to survive or and entertain yourself because you can't always be paying bills and expenses it's important to have leisure time